writers, does anybody have an idea for a story? How about uh, this time travel ad? Guy writes a classified that reads, Wanted, someone to go back in time with me. This is not a joke. You'll get paid after we get back. Must bring your own weapons. Safety not guaranteed. I've only done this once before. I want to find this guy. You know, see if maybe he believes in this stuff. I don't know. I think it could be funny. You want to do it? Can I get a couple of interns? Help me with I'll the do research. It. Me, too, please. Me. All right, give me the lesbian and the Indian, and I got a story. What the flick, everybody? Uh, Alonzo, Christy, uh, Ben, enjoy your time with Alonzo because that's as much as he's going to participate. His wave. <laughs> Pretend he's not here. He didn't see safety not guaranteed. Christy and I did, and we have interesting things to say about it because we I both hope liked we do. it. Yeah. I hope we liked it. Got his name, where he works. What makes you think he won't slam the door in my face, too? Probably none of the other people were beautiful girls. Easier, I know. Do you sell guns here? Something sexy and affordable with killing power? Is there a pest problem? Well, if your ad had been written properly, I may have a better idea of what I need. I hope you worked harder on your calibrations. My calibrations are flipping pinpoint, okay? Mm. You ever face certain death? If it was so certain, I wouldn't be here, would I? I think you're ready for the next steps in basic training. I think I'm getting better than you. Now, let's not get ahead of yourself here, okay? I'm certain I'm being recorded. I'm certain I'm being followed. What's wrong with this guy? What makes you think there's something wrong with him? Because he thinks he can go back in time. What are you going back for? The mission has to do with regret, mistakes. No matter how tempting it will be, we're never, ever going to say, hey, leave your Star Wars figurines in the box because they'll be worth, like, hundreds more. I think you're ready. I trust you. You should. There are people following him. There are really people following him. This is intense. We're going 15 miles an hour. You come to that launch site, you take my hand, and I'll show you who can't time travel. What's your story about? I don't know anymore, actually. It's my hope that if you're watching this video, something incredible has happened. So this is a movie about time travel that knows that you think movies about time travel are ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And it kind of has some fun with that. And yet, at the same time, it's very, very earnest and very sweet and does not condescend to the You know, my best, class my best friend will see any movie, any television show that has time travel in it. Not everyone thinks all movies about time travel are ridiculous. You have to it, make certain leaps of faith to go with them and not peck away the little holes in them, right? Nazis or time travel, he's there on opening night. <laughs> right. It's a guarantee. Um, Which so, was both at the same time. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's, a twofer. it's the best. That's mm -hmm. the that, that Star Trek episode, literally the greatest hour of television <laughs> as far as he's concerned. And, uh, this is where Dave White will point out there's a really good Chuck Klosterman essay about time travel and how it makes no sense at all and can never, ever happen. Look, <laughs> the, it, up. Um, Look well, it up. Uh, it does not matter for those purposes here, though. What I liked is that... What I liked is that is the is the obvious skepticism that the other normal people had in the film mm -hmm. about time travel? You know, they couldn't be convinced with one sort of powerful speech. Um, but uh, Mark Duplass, who plays the guy who believes that there can be time travel, you know, but there's a there's something about him that makes him you don't dismiss him right. instantly. Not so much that you believe this, but you believe he believes it, mm -hmm. and you don't believe that that means that he's a nut job who you need to stay away from. Like he's a some... nut job, but there's something really endearing about yeah. him. Right, right. I mean, and that's what I mean. There's, there's, he's a nut job with positive qualities. Um, <laughs> you don't want to date him or anything, but, um, but yeah, no, but the movie does not condescend to him. Right, and but he then, brings a lot of sweetness to the character. But Go then ahead. when there is an attraction to him from Audrey Plaza, Plaza Aubrey. Aubrey, excuse me, um, you're, it, you, it, it's credible. I buy mm. it based on where she is in her life and why she. It didn't. That didn't feel forced in any way. Right. She is playing in the beginning, kind of playing a version of the character that we know her too often play in movies like Funny People or On Parks and Recreation. She's the smart ass and she rolls her eyes and she's very sarcastic, but he kind of breaks her down and they they work on decoding together and they work on shooting firearms in the woods and and he gets to her in a way that she does not right. expect. On the other end of the spectrum is Jake Johnson, who is looking up this chick that he hooked up with, like, what, 20 years ago? 20 years ago, right. And uh, he goes and finds her, and... And what do you know? She's aged 20 years. Yeah. and But she's lovely. She's, she's totally lovely, but, yeah. But he's totally shallow and uh, a party boy, but that changes as yeah. well. Yeah, and his growth is... Incredible and mm. exactly what you'd sort of expect yeah. it to be. And then the third character, the um, the nerdy Indian yeah, intern, very funny. he's like the voice of reason the whole time, but then he gets his own little development he does. as well, yeah. and it was really sweet. I did not like the ending. I would mm -hmm. not have ended it as literally as they do. I think what, what happens could have been implied and it would have been much more powerful, but um, Colin Trevorrow, whose first film this is, he admitted that he has great Spielberg influences in his life, in his work, and that leap of faith you have to take 
in a lot of Spielberg sci-fi. He felt yeah. this was an homage to that. I, I get it, and 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 there were clearly like two or three very clear ways that you could have ended this movie. Mm -hmm. And when we say end it, we really mean like the last minute, <laughs> last, like yeah, the really last the, 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 the last <laughs> image. There are a lot of ways you could go. Uh, I would have gone a different way, and mm -hmm. I think it would have been clearly harder to write mm -hmm. their way. Uh, they, they chose the easy way out, mm -hmm. and, and then they, and then you can hide behind. Oh, look! But no, it's an homage to Spielberg, and, <laughs> and it was bold. And I think it was actually the, it was the opposite. But I liked it so much anyway that it was okay. And I get it was definitely one of the ways you could end it. It was it was in the it was in the realm of of acceptable ending. Yeah, and I was impressed too, just tonally, the way it makes a shift between various genres in a really small amount of time. Because it begins as kind of this oddball road trip comedy with these mismatched co-workers. And it becomes romantic and very, very sweet. And then it becomes a legitimately paranoid sci-fi thriller. Yeah. And it kind of does that very, very seamlessly in a very intimate kind of low-budget way that I was impressed with. Um, I need to uh, talk about uh, Aubrey Plaza. Okay. Because, Let's do. Uh, like, she's the kind of uh, actress who I think would cause writers to write a movie just for her. Mm -hmm. I think she's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I think there's really something exceptional there. And, and the sort of sad sack monotonism that she has played so effectively mm -hmm. before, she's really good at it. But all of a sudden you get this vibrance here mm -hmm. and, and, and then she's this fully realized person and she's, uh, uh, she's phenomenal, she's mm -hmm. sexy, she's good, she's funny, her timing is great. Yeah. Yeah, she's vulnerable here for the first yeah. time, and that's very appealing. Yeah, she can. Uh, she does that. Uh, she does that uh, acting with her eyes thing. It's, uh, <laughs> show me. Show me. How do you do that? How do you act with your eyes? <laughs> Those are your eyebrows. That's, that's your brow <laughs> acting. I would be the most. <laughs> I am the worst actor ever. Whatever. Whatever. Early on, when we were doing the show. I don't know if you guys remember. We would. Uh, um, like I do some like I'd make a funny face that was you know when we were making fun of something or you'd say something smart and I'd roll my eyes or something right and and then uh, Andrew the director he would be like oh well, let's try and get that again because I didn't take that shot <laughs> and so then I'd be like right yeah I can't I mean What's it's it's brutal I'm, brutal I'm horrible so when I see somebody that good that young I, I uh, you were great I, on Party Down <laughs> oh, thanks very much yeah I can play you, reporter number two basically yeah sports <laughs> sportscaster number two on Party Down yeah so anyway I thought she was really dynamite I thought yeah. this was a wonderful movie I thought that that uh, this movie uh, Safety Not Guaranteed and uh, Moonrise Kingdom mm -hmm. were two of the most romantic movies I've mm -hmm. seen in the last five years. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I effectively romantic movies. Mm -hmm. And, and for, for all those girls who want to go see Snow White and uh -huh. The Huntsman, because they get the trailer got them, and man, did that trailer get girls. Um, mm -hmm. uh, no, go see Safety Not Guaranteed, go right. see Moonrise Kingdom. Yeah, Those are two wonderfully romantic movies. Don't see the, the whatever the latest Nicholas Sparks book that has been uh, yeah, yeah, put come on, on screen. Also, if you can't get enough Mark Duplass, next week is your sister's sister, yeah, which and is I guess, also very good. And I guess he was in it. They gave some money to this movie, too. He's a producer. Yeah, He's both they, they are. Yeah. All right, so your number? Is an eight, I think. Yeah, you gave it an eight. Okay, yeah, yeah I the ending. I really liked it. I gave it an 8.6. Mm -hmm. I think it's wonderful. 8.3 overall. Uh, go see it as and soon as you can. And where is it tomato-ish? Matt's not here to join 92. us. It's a 92. It's at 92% on the tomato meter. Okay. So it's doing very well. Uh, others agree. Yeah, Goes. it's a limited release this weekend, but I think it goes wider from here on out. So go find it when it comes to your neck of the woods. Bye.